How many of you here know what a smart meter is? Good, because the very man who first alerted me to their existence had come all the way from California to talk about them to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jerry Dan. So a lot of people do, do seem to know about smart meters. I'm surprised because when I came in here, they said, well, we don't have them yet here, and it looks like it may not be a big issue, so maybe nobody will know anything about this, so start from scratch. I don't think I have to. <laughs> I will say that a lot, there's a misunderstanding that smart meters is just like a brand name like Kleenex. So a digital meter is your problem. Some of them are called smart meters. And um, here's why they're coming to Long Island. There is a global initiative to set up a surveillance grid to every human being on the planet. And uh, I'm not going to get into that whole conspiracy thing, but I can just assure you that nothing makes sense except for that which I just stated. Every digital meter has a recorder, a data recorder in it. Every digital meter has a way of transmitting that data to some institution, your power company and beyond. And that is the purpose of it. We're, we also have this dual problem of we're in this wireless age where, you know, it's expensive to buy wire, and you can put up a wireless device on a telephone pole that'll relay smart meter signals, digital meter signals, and for the cost of that box, about the size of my hand, you save maybe 10 to 20 thousand feet of wire, not only the cost of the wire, but the cost of insulation. It could be a few hundred feet, it could be thousands of feet of wire. So, so the wireless technology is incredibly empowering to those who use it, relative to if you had to spend the money to wire everything. Why do they want to, why do they want to set up this grid? Your power company is facing the crisis of grid load stress. They have to build more power companies all the time. There are many reasons why now they are limited in doing that. Real estate is hard to get, permits are hard to get, you know, the investors are hard to get, the all nuclear power is a big problem, on and on and on. So it's hard to build new power plants. So this mesh network, they call it, and General Petraeus said, we, we won't have to wiretap anybody, we'll just spy on them through their dishwashers. I don't know if you saw that quote. You'll have your smart appliances, and all of your smart appliances will be talking to your smart meter, and this data will go up to the head end. The smart meter has a way of relaying, relaying to your appliance in your home, which will have this circuitry, and by the way, will be a wireless device, and you'll be have you'll have multiple compounded exposures of electromagnetic radiation on you and your children and your body and your pets and your plants and everything else that is known to be harmed by that. You'll have wireless devices all over your house. Your appliance says to your, or your uh, smart meter or digital meter says to your appliance, we have a grid load stress. This is the afternoon, everybody's got their air conditioners on, things are tight. And we're about to blow some transformers. And the smart appliance says, okay, I'll shut down. So your own appliances that you're going to pay good money for are going to become the new way of managing the grid load stress. The way they used to do this was build extra power plants. And when everybody started using power all at once for some reason, which happens daily, seasonally, all kinds of times, the power plants went online. When you, when you can, and, you, and, and if they didn't do it right, they blew up transformers around town, send out their line crews, fix those transformers, it's a mess. When your appliances will shut themselves down, they can write off, they can cross off 15% of their power generation capacity. A large power company we have them in California, there's PG&E, there's Southern California Edison, the big monsters. 
can literally shut down an entire power generating plant that would represent 15% of their productive cap capacity. So people say, oh, you're going you're gonna to save money by not having to pay for meter readers. You know, that's not where they're saving money. They're not going to be blowing up transmitters. They're going to be firing half of their line crews. They're going to be shutting down 15% of their power generation capacity. They're going to be collecting your personal data. There's a data recorder in there. They're going to be selling your data to the highest bidder. And they're going to be sharing it, obviously, as we know, with the NSA and everybody else. Obama came out, what, two days ago and said, this is really an important thing to have all this NSA, uh, he was talking about the telephone uh, records. He said, this is really great. We can go in after the fact and we can hunt down these terrorists because we've got all this data. So, so I was thinking to myself, I said, boy, you know what I'd like to do? And there's somebody in this audience that could do this. I'm not going to do it. I'd like to set up my own little PBX system. And you can pick up your phone and call me. And the phone says to you, you are on private line. This business is called Private Line. Please dial your number. And you dial that number, and now you have the company named Private Line anonymizing your phone call. So there's different ways that we're all going to have to think of how I'm going to stay private, how am I going to stay out of this problem. When you have your smart meter, and it's sharing all this data, it's recording all your time of day incidents in your house. Every time you flip on a light, your bathroom heater, whatever, the power company knows forever what room you were in and what you were doing in that room. Or maybe how many people were in the house or whether there was anyone in the house. This is surveillance data. This is a camera in your house of your personal and private activities in your house. That is what it is for. And the data recorder is in every digital meter. I'll explain how this works. A digital meter has to have something in it called a switching mode power supply. What that does, it's a little transformer type device, and that steals a little bit of electricity to power the digital components of the smart meter, the digital meter. When it has to, the reason it has to steal that is because there is a recorder there, an analog meter, which is something that doesn't record data, and that's the old one you had with the mechanical dials. Yeah, it it doesn't record any data. There's no need to have the transformer device that's switching mode power supply on that analog meter. The switching mode power supply is installed at the head end of your house wiring grid. Now get this, when, imagine I was the engineer and GE or ITRON or one of these meter companies came to me and said, design this meter, it's got a switching mode power supply, it's gonna record data, we're gonna transmit the data up, with high energy density pulse radiation, we're going to use weaponized radiation so we can punch that with low wattage all the way up to our relays. As an engineer, I would say, excuse me, uh, in school they taught me not to put a switching mode power supply at the head end of a wiring grid because it disrupts the incoming sine wave current integrity and it causes dirty electricity and that means the occupants are now living in a low grade microwave oven. So we aren't going to do this, right? And my employer says, yeah, we're going to do this. And if you say that again, you won't be the engineer doing it. That's what had to have happened. Engineers who designed these meters, every single digital meter, had to have had that thought in his head, whether he, he or she took it to the employer or not. This is not right. I'm putting a switching mode power supply at the head end of a wiring grid. I know this is wrong. I learned this in Engineering 101. When you go into your house with an electromagnetic radiation or RF scanning meter, and you go down near your wall warts, you know what I mean by wall warts, those little transformers that you plug in to charge your cell phone, all that, you get a big hit on those. That's exactly what that switching mode power supply is doing. It's, it's a transformer that's disrupting your current, and the reason you get an EMR hit, EMF hit, on this little transformer is because it's doing that, that converting high voltage AC down to low voltage DC, just like they have to do in your smart meter. Okay, that's okay though, because you have a big read, you have a big EMF read on that thing, 
Okay, where is it? It's at the terminal end of your wiring grid. It's at the end, it's at the plug. So it's not sending bad, dirty electricity beyond it. It's at the end. You take that all the way upstream to your electric meter, and everything in your house is now disrupted. Everything in your house is putting out dirty electricity. So when they tell you, and in Long Island, this is coming. We've had all these battles. People know this because you know about the smart meters. You know, you've heard about the protests and people lying down in the street in front of the tr trucks, you know, that are coming to install the smart meters. When they come and install this, they're going to tell you, oh, don't worry, it's not transmitting. They may not be. They may not be lying. But they're not telling you that it's emitting the dirty electricity. That's a whole separate thing. So there's two completely different electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation issues there. And by the way, you're, you're kind of half right, which is your eye. That when they say it's not transmitting, it could be in a second. It's remotely, they could turn it off and off, off and on remotely, the transmission. So, so you could have a transmitting meter one second, non-transmitting the other. They can lie to you and two seconds later turn it on. So, so when it's transmitting, uh, it, how many people here have heard the name Barry Trower? Okay, Barry Trower is a scientist from the United Kingdom. In the 1950s, his job was making, testing, deploying microwave weapons for the UK Army. He was in microwave weaponry. And he has, if you want to go look for Barry Trower, he's got some great videos on the web right now, interviews with him. And he says, here's how it works. When a young girl is exposed to these microwaves, and this is exactly the same kind of radiation and energy as he dealt with with weaponized radiation. This is high energy density pulse radiation when they're doing the transmitting. That will damage her reproductive system and she will have genetic disorders in her offspring, and those genetic disorders are irreparable and will be in the family line forever. That's what this does. I got interested in this because of the surveillance, and I put a video on YouTube called Smart Meters. You may have seen it. That went to like a couple million views, but all viral, and surprised heck out of me. I was just angry. I said, how dare they put a surveillance device on my house? I knew nothing of the radiation at the time, or wasn't concerned with it. And then I thought, well, I'm going to help people. You know, I could sell analog meters and say, here, put one of these back on your house. They put a digital meter. Here's a, here's a good calibrated, zero, standard, tested, industry standard analog meter. I'll sell them. Now you know where to get them. And I figured out how to do that, and then I realized, whoops, people are going to be violating their easement. They're going to be tampering with their smart meter. There's all kinds of policies against this. So I said, okay, solve, problem solved. I'll write an 11-page notice, a legal notice. So here you go, power company. I haven't changed my meter yet. I've got my analog meter sitting right here. Your digital meter is still on there. Here's your notice, and here's what it says. You're in criminal trespass. You, have, you are emitting radiation on my property without consent. You're conducting surveillance on my property without consent. Emission of radiation is violation of U.S. Code Title 18, assault. Radiation, uh, surveillance is a violation of U.S. Code Title 18, wiretapping. And I've read it, and it does apply to smart meters. There's a digital data recorder in there. It's recording personal private activities inside the home. It's transmitting them wirelessly. It is a wiretapping device in violation of U.S. code. Here's your notice, power company. You have 21 days to get this off of here. And if it's not off there and I don't have a safe and lawful and, and harmless analog meter, I'm putting my own on in self-defense in full right of the law. You're on notice. They have 21 days to rebut. Send them a notice of default. All these documents now I pack with my kit, send out these meters. The notice of default says, you did not rebut my notice. You have now confessed to criminal trespass on my property. You are now subject to all terms and conditions of my original notice. So I'm playing hardball because I don't like what they're doing. And they know they're hurting people. And I've been in these meetings 
where the representative from the power company is going to come in and give you all this happy talk. It's harmless, we're, not, we're going to protect the data and blah, blah, blah. You know, when have you ever seen a database protected? You know, we're all, if you ever shopped at Target stores, you know, you know, you know whatever. They don't, you know, they've, they've hacked into the Pentagon, they've hacked into NSA. They're going, to, they're going to lose this data. So don't tell me the data is safe. And I think that's what's prob you're probably going to start going through what we've been going through in California for four or five years now. Long Island, you're going to have the public meeting and the, and the representative from the power company is going to be invited. And uh, some of them talk real good. And they're lying. And they lie right, to, right through their teeth. Here's one of their favorite lies. Here's one to look out for. It only transmits three minutes a day. Okay, let's see what that means. Every two seconds, it shoots out a nanosecond pulse, to about two or three nanoseconds. That means two thousandths of a second. High energy density pulsed radiation goes through your body like a bullet every two, every two minutes. And, and they're pinging each other constantly. All your, your meter, your neighbor's meter, ping, 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 ping. And, they, and the data that goes across only goes maybe once every 10 transmissions. They have to do all this pinging business to just say, are you still there? Okay, thank you. Are you still there? Okay, thank you. Uh, for some reason, technically, that's a big important thing. They'll tell you, first of all, we're only transmitting data this often, and that means they're doing actual transmission of useless microwaves 10 times as much or 100 times as much. And then they'll tell you we're only doing three, three times a day. What they did was they added up two thousandths of a second all day long, two seconds, uh, every two seconds all day, and that added up to a total of three minutes. So that is a lie. That is intentional misdirection. That, 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 that is uh, deception. And, and your uh, power company from, uh, it's PSEG now? It's yes. new? Yeah. yeah. They're going to come here and probably try to tell you that. Yeah, you have a question? I don't, I don't know if everybody knows this, but they did send an introductory letter. If you mm -hmm. read the small print, it said they are coming to put the meters in. Very interesting. I know a lot of people didn't know that. They're, they're in our right here. They're already in. Did you read it? Oh, they're already in. Yeah. <laughs> you've got, you've got one? I've been sick for two and a half years. Right. Suffolk County Water Authority has already put one in everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, without telling anybody, they call you and they say, we're, oh, we're going to come and upgrade the water meter. They, that's all they said. Okay, I, I want to keep the, you let the yeah. group in on this. So so they're already installing. They're doing yeah. test test programs or something like that. Okay. And I would know, and I would very good. Like, yeah. Two years to find out that that's what we're doing. Talk to me after. You may get a free meter kit. I don't have this. Mine is this on. I saw it, but yours is on four pieces. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to talk to you later to make sure that they're, they're safe. Water meter? I'd say yes. that again. They hooked up your water Yeah, they're doing water, gas, electric. It's like a little nuclear missile. Take it off. 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 I, what happens now, between the videos that I produced and these meter kits, I get calls every day, and it's almost the same conversation every time. Somebody calls up and said, oh, my whole family got sick, my kids got asthma, you know, we've got brain fog, I've got insomnia, heart palpitations, and then I went to the doctor, and they couldn't tell us what happened, and then I, and then I uh, realized it all started on the day that they put the meter in. Right. Is the notice on the line anywhere that we could Yeah. If, if here, here we go. The room were to send the notice here we go. Today, Here's the context. Ready? Anybody with a pencil? Anybody wants it? Here we go. And the and by the way, the legal notice that comes with the kit is free download. So uh, the only thing you don't get really is the meter itself if you want the free download. So and, and I encourage people to do that because I say send them the notice. Uh, we used to charge ten bucks for the for the notice, and then I thought I just give it away. And and uh, a lot more people protected themselves because I say even if you don't get the meter, if you're not going to replace it, you put them on notice. You you've recovered the authority as property owner. And what you tell them essentially is, by your criminal trespass, by your misconduct, 
you have now lost right of easement, contract, and policy, and I don't negotiate with criminals. No one should. You send it certified mail. All the instructions come with it. It's, this legal notice, here we go, website, freedomtaker.com. No sir. Sure. In May, I'm sure this is We have smart meters, uh, but we managed, uh, we, we can't get rid of them. We're fighting all over the country. Ed Friedman is we're the one leading it up. We can clean it up. He's an environmentalist. But, uh, and good guy. But we are allowed uh, not to have them by paying something like $10 a month. It's called extortion. Yeah. I it, but I do it. I, I, I just said no. You know, I put a sign on my analog one. I said no smart meter. I had to write the state or whatever, the CMP, several and tell them that I didn't want it, but I have to pay extra. Yeah. But we're trying to work that out. Think, think really hard before you go into any opt-out program or any offer of contract. If you point a gun at me and say, I'm going to shoot you three times, but if you give me 50 bucks, I'll only shoot you twice. That's what you're doing. You're, 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 you're agreeing to be shot twice. You're, you're volunteering into criminal victimhood when you enter into an extortion contract or an opt-out contract where they say, if you believe this is harmful, you're agreeing to do it under these terms of law, the threatening. So, our, so, so there's no, our lawsuit covers just what you're talking about. Good. You had a lawsuit against who? Oh, yes, against the uh, CMP, Central Main Power. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Those lawsuits are going to be what changes it all. In my videos, I talk about it's similar to asbestos, tobacco, and DDT. They're making a lot of money. They're pushing the bad information under the carpet until there's too many bodies in the street, and then finally they outlaw it. That's exactly what's going to happen to wireless, but it's going to happen differently. Wireless is many times more profitable than asbestos, DDT, and tobacco combined. Every, we are, and this will be my last point, we are getting smothered in EMF right now. It's compounding every day because it is so profitable and it is so convenient and there are so many clever new digital things you can do with it. You'll start looking up on poles and seeing all these little gadgets with antennas sticking out of them. It's coming at you from everywhere. And so the next move that I'm doing, I've been doing these meters and those will be available. The next move I'm doing, which will be in the next few weeks or month, a couple months at the most, will be to put together kits where people can scan their residents because this is what we don't know. What are the exposures? You're getting sick? It'd be nice to be able to say, I know this is from the radiation. How do you know it? It's colorless, odorless, you can't see it. You have to have the right scanning equipment and it's not as simple as one meter. We're actually I'm developing this with a scientist who, who, know, who says no. You're talking about different frequencies and whatever. There's four different meters to really get a good basic read. Actually, you can do a good basic read with two meters. It's radio frequency, it's microwaves. And then uh, from there you go to other frequencies. And uh, so uh, that'll be the empowering thing because now you go to your power company and you say, I know what's here, I know what you're transmitting. I put it a foot from my meter, I put it 10 feet from my meter, I tell you exactly what that thing's putting out. Don't try to tell me it's not. So that'll be the empowering thing. But anyway, uh, I'm happy to talk to anybody. I take calls all day long. You know, whoever calls, I talk. Freedomtaker.com. A lot of information there. Also, a lot of um, links to people who have great, great uh, information about this. And um, again, happy to talk to you if you have any questions later. Thank you so much.